I should have known that. I'm your fucking best friend. Uh, as we know, I don't love talking about my feelings. No, no. Wait, did you see my clip of me going on Zan and Heath's high episode? Uh-uh. We did a high spelling bee. Wait, you know I was there, right? Oh. <laughs> Is it my turn? Yes. Damn it. Ask a question you'd be too afraid to ask. Do you think I interrupt you too much on this podcast? <laughs> um. Ramble. Pretty basic. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Pretty Basic. We are sitting here. On the, we really went for different vibes for the outfits. <laughs> okay, here's the thing. Here's the thing. The last time I went comfy casual, you were so dolled and dressed up. And I was like, damn it. I'm like, you know, I'm like too chill. So this time <laughs> I brought an outfit. I was like, I'm going to wear a dress. And I'm also going to wear white stiletto heels. Oh, But then stilettos. I saw your outfit. Walk and I was like. in these Louboutins. <laughs> Oh no, the um the the oven mitt. I like people wear oven mitts. Are they do I missed that. I've been seeing the trend that goes doom. You hear like you have the shoes and you go walk, 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 and then you put it in front of the camera and you go, I've been done it. Sorry. <laughs> I just shook all the mic. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Our for you pages are different. However, um yeah, so I ended up stealing your shoes because I feel like these made it a little more casual. A little more. I like though that we come, I like that we don't discuss what we're gonna wear and it's just whatever we're feeling for the day. Today, I really wanted to wear this new shirt that I got that says text, don't call because I do prefer a text. I do love a phone call if I'm in the mood, but if I'm not in the mood to talk, I do not want you to call me. I went for a really cute green dress. I. Think? She's giving pistachio. She's giving mint. She's giving Easter Sunday. I think it's from Maurizio. Mm. Could be wrong. Maybe it's Revolve. It's cute. Can't see. Um, and then Remy's shoes. So that's our outfit of the days, everybody. Wait, where are your pants from? Um, oh my god, they're <laughs> from this really small niche boutique called parallel apparel <laughs> i actually these are my literal favorite sweatpants i'm not just saying that because the co-founder sitting here but i love <laughs> them so much cal also loves them he stole two of my pairs so i only have this one left oh my god but lucky it took I have me extra. so long it wasn't until cal came walking down in them and he was at the sink and he was doing dishes and because i was behind him i could see like the back i didn't realize there were parallel lines on the back of this till literally uh, seeing cow oh, wait really i had no idea and i wore that for like months oh my god that's so funny no idea uh, i do love them though they're so comfy i'm wearing the shirt which i think is from princess polly and then my sneakers yeah we are such different vibes i am going to use this time to um say that parallel did have a drop last week and I, it's doing really well yeah which is really exciting so go and shop it parallelapparel.com um we came out with the trendsetter collection and i think my favorite color is the storm which is the blue i'm a storm girly too but the sage is really stormy pretty baby. Stormy. i saw someone comment you better have sent stormy pr and i was like lol can Wait, you imagine you should do a tiktok with the sound stormy baby in your storm <laughs> set yes, yes i yes, yes. i got my email confirmation because alicia said she'd send me some pieces oh you got it well, I didn't get the pieces yet, but I got the email. All I told her was I wanted the zip up jackets <laughs> because they were really cute. And then I got an email that literally had every piece okay. from the collection. I was going to say, I was like, do I surprise you and like let you open it and see what's all there? Or do you, but you know, there's going to be a fucking massive I mailer. literally, I text the um, marketing manager. I was like, send Remy one of everything. I was and they're so like, excited. which colors? I said, everything uh, thank you so much <laughs> no i want I'm your honest so like opinion and stuff on it all i'm gonna be fully blunt i'm not really a sweat short girly which is so funny i like i love the idea of them but i just have like very large thighs and i feel like just thighs and sweat shorts sometimes don't go hand in hand so i will give you my honest opinion uh -huh. as a short-legged wide thighed gal see i feel like i got some wide thighs too but i am i am really picky with my sweat shorts me too i they have to be the perfect length can't be too long or too short. Like these dolphin shorts do not look good on me. Uh, like yeah. the little tight, like, oh, I'm like uh, forever 21. The yeah. Sophie. Oh, the Sophie. The oh, trauma. Anyways, today we are going to play a little game. We know each other quite well. However, I feel like every friendship, every relationship, you come to a point where you think you know every single thing about someone and then you realize, wait, there's little things about you that I don't know. For instance, literally yesterday, and I know you've probably told me this before, like when you first started dating Cal. Oh, <laughs> yeah. You were like, oh yeah, he's a year younger than me. And I was like, wait, 
He's a year younger than you? Like it clicked. How much long, how much did you think he was younger than me? I thought he was the me? same age. Like. No, babes. And I, I'm like, now I kind of remember when you first started dating, you were like, yeah, he's only, I think at the time, 24 or something yeah. like that. Yeah. And he's 22. He was 22? Yeah. Oh my God. I was 23. That's crazy. <laughs> But like, for instance, I was like, wow, I should have known that. I'm your fucking best friend. <laughs> it's okay. We I don't keep little. track. <laughs> we don't keep track. I know that was my like biggest, like the, the biggest reason why I was like, I don't know about him was because he was younger. That's so funny. And my whole life, I was like, I want to date someone who's older than me. Also, my dad is exactly like a year older than my mom. And I always wanted that for some reason. So when um, Cal was younger, I was like, I don't know. That's so funny. But yes, I'm glad that you now know. Oh my God. So now I know uh, the age difference and I'm a little embarrassed by the fact that I didn't like already know that, or maybe I just forgot that I knew it. I don't know. Either way, I'm excited to learn more about you as you, me. Um, We're going to be playing a little game today called, yes, you guessed it. We're not really strangers. Okay. I'm going to be honest. As we know, I don't love talking about my feelings and this game apparently is a little emo. So we'll see if I enjoy it. Turn on. Nuts. Oh no! Ah! That Sorry. reminded me of the tarot card readers on TikTok when they're just like, <laughs> and then they like go everywhere. <laughs> so there are three levels to this game. Level one is perception. Level two is conf- confection. <laughs> I think it's sugar. Connection. And level three is reflection. And Alicia has instructed us to begin with level three because apparently we're already close enough that we can skip the other two. I just suggested that we should do level She's three because I wanted to bring some, some tea, some drama, you know? Like, uh, let's cut to the good stuff. Not right. like, what'd you have for breakfast? Even though, what did you have for breakfast? I had two pieces of gluten-free toast with, I wanted some uh, dairy-free cream cheese, but it had mold in it <gasps> oh, no. at Kite Hill. It, I opened it this morning and there was mold oh no uh, with a fresh tomato from my garden and two eggs i had um chocolate chia pudding yeah it was good did you make it no i got it for my meal so oh i Bam. love a chia pudding that was really good i love you know a chia pudding is the same or the chia seeds are what they use for ch- 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 chia like the pets it's a chia seed that grows into a little sprout how did it ch- 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 chia what have you ever had a chia pet? No, I, they kind of freaked me out as a kid. Oh, I loved my chia like pet. Like the commercials. Chia. Chia. Yeah. <laughs> it was like a terracotta, whatever, like a, s- plan, a, a pet, Bob Ross, whatever. And then you just get it wet and then it adheres the chia seeds and then they start to grow. You have all the That's why I was like, how do they not grow in my stomach? <laughs> I hate that. I hate it. Okay, you go first. Okay. I'm going to mix it up here. Let's get That's spicy. Fine. Let's get spicy. I see. Okay. <laughs> Wild cards. Give each other nicknames. <laughs> see, this isn't too bad. We already have nicknames for each other. Let's yeah. say all of our nicknames for each other right now. Romy. Yes. Remster. Yes. <laughs> I never call you Remster. Remalicious. Remalicious stuff. <laughs> um, Romica. Romica. <laughs> Romica Ro. Romica Ro. <laughs> Rem. Rem. I don't know. What else do I call you? Bestie, bitch, love of my life, bitch, bitch. Duh, bitch. Uh, for you, I have Loshikalo, <laughs> I have Loshi, I have Loot, Loot. I have Losh. I think that's it. Loshikalo is my doing? favorite. What can I help you with? <gasps> I love it, Steve. Hmm. <laughs> I hate that I got this one first. <laughs> um, you can help me with. Doesn't have to be deep. Asking me how I'm doing more. <gasps> Oh, I'm so sorry, Ben. It's okay. It's okay. All the comments are so mad at you. <laughs> <laughs> but I will say the other day. I will say. No, no. I know what you could do to help me. Don't be on your phone as much when we're talking. Okay. Because the other day <laughs> I was driving. I can do that. And when I'm driving, I have to talk to you because yeah. I can't do anything yeah. else. But you get to be on your phone because I'm driving. That's how I feel when I drive with people. I'm like, da 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 And then no one answers. Yeah. I said, how are you? And then you answered. And then you went back on your phone. I was like, she didn't ask me how oh, I'm doing. I'm so but it's sorry. okay. <laughs> so you know what will fix that? Me drive. <laughs> Oh, I would love, you know what? I take my answers back. You drive me more. Yeah, I'm down. I'm down. I'm down. She's a good driver. Thank you. (laughs) What do you think I should know about myself that perhaps I'm unaware of? You like, I feel like you just don't get why you're so special. 
like I'm being dead ass. Sometimes it pisses me off because I'm like Remy. Like I wish you could see how I see you. Never mind. You don't have to ask me how I'm doing anymore. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I'm gonna. Thank you. I see why you're such a successful YouTuber. Like I see why people feel so connected to you. That's like so I kind. see. To me, it's so obvious, and I feel like sometimes you are hard on yourself, and you're like you don't see it as much, and I'm like. Bitch. That means so much. Thank but you, you don't have to try. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like it just like you it comes to natural. So so you, you don't, don't have, have to give yourself away. <laughs> um, but thank you. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah. Do you know why you're so special? Nah. Really? I mean, I know I work hard, so, but like, so that I've put in work, but like. Like, how you just phrase that to me is exactly how I feel about you. So but funny. to me, I perceive you as like knowing why and like you fucking own it. So that's really interesting to hear that you don't because you're so fucking special. Bitch, your haircut vlog, I was like, <laughs> holy shit. Thank you so no, much. No, for real. Like you are so gifted with storytelling and editing. Like it made, like I, no joke. I was watching, I was like, I couldn't do this. <laughs> if someone gave me a bajillion dollars, I'm like, the, the thought literally crossed my mind. Like you're so gifted at storytelling and Thank like you. from start to finish, the whole fruition, like, Amazing. Oh my God. Thank you so I much. I literally was like, could never. Oh my God. Could never. <laughs> Based on what you've learned about me, mm -hmm. does my social media accurately reflect who I am? Why or why not? Actually, wait, the one time we have played this game, you got that question on TV's podcast. Yeah. I would like to reiterate my answer here. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Banana. Because... <laughs> Because there's so much more depth to you than what we see. Well, I'm thinking honestly, just generally on Instagram. Yeah. Because Instagram is very photo focused where it's obviously like you can't really tell much off of photos. And while you're a hot bitch, you're also, and while you've tried to be an Instagram baddie, like deep down, you know, you're not a baddie not at a heart. Baddie. Because a baddie means that, I don't know. I feel like I associate a baddie with being like, very shallow, yeah. very vapid, and you're not any of those things. Thank you. So I feel like if someone were to just look at your Instagram, they would think you're a whole other person than you really are. But I think if they watch this podcast or watch your vlog channel yeah. or your main channel, then I feel like you get to see a lot more of you. You know what it is? I think part of the reason is because I do enjoy editing as my storytelling and like my creative outlet. I think it's harder for me when it comes to photos as much. Like mm. I'll, I'll post like funny photos, but I think a lot of my personality does come out with like, like video, it's easier for me versus yeah. Instagram. Because you are so good at it. Thank you. Like, I've never been fulfilled by a video <laughs> because I can't edit for shit. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean that wholeheartedly. But I do think, okay, wait, wait, I have a question for you. So yeah. you're, you're starting a new series on your channel, which we need to talk yeah. about. Wait, I also like didn't know this was gonna be a thing until you sent me the video. We didn't even talk yeah. about this. <laughs> Let's get into it. So what's the series about? Well, I was basically uploading a video about like why I haven't posted much and, and everyone was like, oh, you listened to Remy, you did your homework. Like this like meant so much. <laughs> like it was, I was like, I did, but I didn't do my book haul yet, but I will, don't worry. It's okay, it's coming. Um, So that one, th getting those comments of people who are like, I listened to the pod oh. and now seeing this, this like means a lot. Wait, I need to interrupt. Yeah. We've been to like, I don't know what's going on, but events are happening left and right lately. And Alicia and I have been going and at every single event, at least like five influencers or creators will come up to Alicia and be like, holy shit, that episode of you crying meant so much to me. And I feel like it was just like, I'm just, I'm usually just next to you. So I'm just standing there listening to this conversation. And I think it's so special that you made so many people feel seen and heard in this space. And I feel like every single one of them, whenever they come up, they're like, I didn't know anybody else was feeling that way. So for you to provide the space for them was so special. Okay, you're also missing the big fact that after they said that, they turned to you and said, and you <laughs> were so good at asking questions and such a good listener. Thank you We so did a good much. job tag teaming that. We really, you really did. did kill it. You too. Thank the tears. you. The tears. Mm -hmm. kind of, oh man. I was scrolling through my, my photo album to look for pictures for Ollie. <laughs> and I stumbled upon that day when I happened to just like yes. take photos throughout the day of you and I got to the car of you looking at the window oh at God, 11 p.m. So funny as fuck. <laughs> okay okay so uh, back to our series what's yes. it called? So I basically I uploaded a video and the last second I kind of thought about why don't we make this a series so I started to title it almost 30 because I was like oh my god I'm 29 like I'm almost 30 and instantly I had the thought of like oh is that gonna make me like 
seem too old for like an audience and like I was going, my mind was going everywhere. And then I was like, Alicia, this is where you are in life right now. And you have to be true to that. And like, you can't like, I I was like, should I title like goodbye twenties to like, like appeal to a wider audience or whatever. And then I was like, no, like you have to do this. Like, I just felt like it needs to be that. And then what was crazy was like most of the comments were from people saying they felt the same and they're also almost 30. And it made me realize wow, all of our, like our audience has grown up with us. Like, so the same way that I did back to school when I was younger, I'm like, oh, now I can like talk about approaching 30 and like things I want to get done and change. So we made a series called Almost 30 of just me trying to get my life together and things that I want to get done before turning 30. I love it. They can be big or small. I love it. And even there are so many of our viewers who have grown up with this, but I also feel like you're attracting a whole new audience. I got a lot of subscribers from that video so far from when I looked at the analytics and obviously not everything's about subscribers, but it just felt good to like be proud of like, I was like really, really proud of that video. So it was a lot. Incredible. And then going back to my initial question, how this came to be was you edited that video yourself. Yeah, I'm assuming. Yes. Cause it was fucking amazing. Thank you so much. And did you feel so much more tied to the content? Like, did you feel creatively fulfilled again? Yes. <gasps> Good. Like you should have seen me going to my hair appointments with four cameras. I was like, I need my digital camera. I need my video camera. And then I made my actual vlog camera. <laughs> oh, do you think that that was like a big mis- missing piece as to like why your burnout was I, happening? I think just having the freedom and creative, like I edited it over a long period of time uh-huh. and I was able to sit back and be like, okay, what's missing? What, yeah. how can I tie this part of the story to this part? Yeah. And I think that's what made me more fulfilled because like when it would tie together oh, was on top. So I was like good. I'd be like oh my god I have the idea of how to like tie this together so I'm just I'm struggling still with knowing I want to delegate things but also knowing I need to have a hand in my editing and what to delegate and what to delegate and maybe editing is the one thing you don't delegate yeah which has been the opposite for a long time so I think that's where um, I am excited so thank you so much of course but yes we are I remember that's how Emma felt too she was pretty vocal about how she got an editor and then felt too disconnected from yeah everything. it's crazy you guys are a special breed of people though who like really need to be involved with yeah. the creative process yeah but I'm so excited for the series. Me too. That's Thank so that's you. so exciting. All right, if you guys do not know what a way is, you are seriously missing out. Actually, while I'm recording this episode currently right now, it is Ollie's birthday, and no joke for his birthday this year, I bought him a way luggage. So I got him the large suitcase in black as well as the matching little carry-on suitcase because I love Ollie so much. But we go on tons of trips together and he literally only owns one giant suitcase that's like falling apart currently. And if we're going on a really short trip, like a weekend trip or like a day trip, he needs like a little carry-on to just bring his things in because right now he's bringing the giant one and it was taking up way too much space in my car. What's amazing about Away is that they're built to last. All products are equipped with durable, lightweight exteriors that can withstand even the roughest of baggage handlers. What I love about them too, like I literally use Away whenever I am traveling myself. They have these amazing little like interior organizers so you can use them to put in, like I put my socks and underwear in the little zipper pocket there's like a little fold flappy thing that you can use to push your clothes down it also has four 360 degree spinner wheels so it makes going through the airport wherever you're going so easy there's also a tsa approved combination lock and there's free shipping and returns on any order within the contiguous us europe canada and australia except for personalized products and best of all there's a 100 day trial on everything that away makes so basically you can take your suitcase or whatever you buy on the road really try it out live in it for a bit and see if you like it and if you don't like it you can return any non-personal personalized item for a full refund during that period. No ifs, ands, or asterisks. So start your 100 day trial and shop the entire Away lineup of travel essentials, including their best selling suitcases and bags at awaytravel.com slash basic. That's awaytravel.com slash basic. What do you think my define? These are all about me. What do you think about my? <laughs> That's the point, right? Oh, is that what it is? <laughs> yeah, because all of mine feel like about me. I'm like, I'm talking too much. Oh, <laughs> that's how this game. <laughs> I'm so dumb. What do you think my defining characteristic is? Ooh, defining, flying high. Defining. Defining. I think honestly, just that you are such a genuinely kind person. Thank you. Like I know that's very vague, but. Very rarely, and we've been friends for a long time, we're really close. Have I ever seen you like be like spiteful or angry? Be a bitch. Be a fucking bitch. <laughs> Heart, I think maybe, maybe <laughs> I got a glimpse of it once, like a little drop, not even like really full out. So You're I'm like, like damn, Whoa. I can't imagine full out. No, no, no. <laughs> but like, and I think that just says a lot because obviously when you're really close with people, you see them at their best and their worst. And I feel like I have seen you at your worst. And even then you're still thinking about other people. You're still considering other people's feelings. And I'm like, damn, can't relate. That's so sweet. 
me. Yeah. So I think that's, again, it comes natural to you, but I think it's a very like, wow. Thank you. You know? If you don't love me at my worst, you don't mm-hmm. deserve me at my best. <laughs> no, but I thank you. I, in, in all seriousness. <laughs> <laughs> I see. I feel like these are all about me too. <laughs> what do I need to hear right now? Hmm. <laughs> that you got to exactly where you are all with your own talents and creativity. I love you so much. I'm like, next one. <laughs> do you believe everyone has a calling? If so, do you think I found mine? Oh my God. That's a two-parter. Do you believe everyone has a calling? Yes. Uh, a thousand percent. Uh-huh. I think what's hard is people compare their callings to other people's callings. So some people are like, oh, I'm just doing, I just have this job at this coffee shop. Like I have no purpose in my life, but I don't think they see, and now I'm hearing that I should hear myself say this. <laughs> <laughs> if you're a barista and you give someone a free coffee and you just felt like it and you don't even know what they're going through. And like, you may not even know that they were having the worst day ever. And that was the one thing that gave them hope. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, and I know that goes for everyone, but I think it is hard when you compare callings, but I do think every single person has a calling. You have totally found your calling. I think you have created a space and I'm just like being so honest that not many other influencers will ever be able to do. But I think your calling is not only bringing people together, but like I've seen your fans. I'm not saying my fans. I'm not saying pretty basic fans. I like your fans. And when they come up to you, it's so different than I've seen any other influencer. Really? Yes. Whoa. And I think they just genuinely feel that connection with you and you've provided that for them. Where like, for instance, me, there's times where I'm like, oh, I like, do I look good? Do I do? like, I like focus too much on superficial things. Even y- seeing you go up to other influencers, you never care if you look like a fangirl. You never, you're like, oh, I need to go say hi to them. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm stressing. Like, what are they going to think? And like, is this the right timing? You're just like, you're just so real and everyone loves you. Oh, thank you so I don't much. Know. You're so welcome. That was so kind. Next one. Based on what you know about me, do you have any Netflix recommendations? <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> Were you about to say like fucking? Yes. <laughs> Can you just beat that? <laughs> um, true best friend. Netflix, Netflix, Netflix. Um, Heart of Dixie solely because I just want you to watch my favorite show. Uh, oh, I, that's okay, it. I'll give it another. Try. I know she's not interested in that. You like sci-fi because you like Stranger Things, but not too <laughs> scary. Uh-huh. Honestly, I feel like I'm not that well versed <laughs> in movies, so I'm not one to give you any info. It could be a show. Um, have you heard of Pretty Little Liars? No, I haven't. You should check that one out. That's <laughs> really good. All right. That was Spoiler a alert. <laughs> <laughs> Man. What do you recommend I let go of, if anything? Oh. Ooh, big breath for this one. I feel like I know what you're going to say. Okay, it's not one specific thing, but I think when a situation does come up for you, you can hyper-focus on it to where that pulls you down. Like, for instance, if there's drama, if there's, like, Maybe someone unfollowed you or like said you were ugly or like something like, or like you heard someone was talking shit or whatever. I think you focus so much on it to where after we've talked about it for a few times, I'm like, okay, Rem, now it's on you. Like you need to let that go for yourself. Yeah. Like it doesn't change how, what they did or how they hurt you or whatever, but like you just marinating on it too much is only like doing you bad. So Mm -hmm. that's the only thing I think in general, letting go of like when situations arise, being able to like move past it. Yeah, that I knew exactly. Yeah, I knew you're gonna say that. I know, I've gotten better. You have. But I have a lot to work on still, but it's because I'm sensitive. It's okay, and it has come to my attention that I have completely overreacted. <laughs> is that what my it is? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's your merch. <laughs> <laughs> Restock soon, right? Restock soon. <laughs> Restock soon, everybody. You heard it here first. Thank you. Thank you. Is it my turn? Yes. Damn it. That, I feel like when I talk a lot, it'll You're be like, your turn. Yeah. And then I'm like, it's my turn. Okay. Wild card. Ooh. Dare your partner to do something out of their comfort zone in the next week. This is for both players. So we have to both oh, answer. Oh, fuck. Okay. For each other. I dare you to set up a date and go on a date. I thought it was going to be make a book haul. <laughs> <laughs> Too late. That, word, that ship has sailed. That ship has sailed. Okay. 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 We'll see next week what happens. Okay. <clears throat> um, <laughs> I will be following up in the next episode. Don't worry, everyone. Okay. Fuck. Ooh, I dare you one night out of the week to not go on TikTok before bed uh, or Instagram or any social media. Okay. 
If I do it, you have to do it. No, you already made mine. Mine's no, like, if I do my dare, you oh, have to do your yeah, dare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how it works. That's how it works. How about once you do your dare, you let me know, and then I will follow suit because I'm not going on TikTok. <laughs> not going to not go on TikTok <laughs> if you're not going on Okay, date. okay, okay. I'll, I'll take the first. I, I got okay. it. <laughs> In one word, describe how you feel right now. Ooh, um, I feel happy. Good. <laughs> I think today I... Like I was one, today's our friend's birthday. I woke up and I was like, oh, I'm excited to record. Um, we're having a birthday dinner thing later. I've been feeling more like myself lately. And it makes me really happy. Good. So. That's all we wanted to hear right yes. now. That's the best word we could have gotten. What do you think my superpower is? Oh, okay. Wait, I got a good one. I think being level-headed. Ooh. I feel like you are always really good at seeing both sides of the coin. Mm -hmm. I feel like you're very level-headed. I feel like you give really good perspective in situations. I feel like I can always count on you, even if I'm mad at someone and I come to you and I want you to be like, yeah, fuck them. You're like, Rem, maybe this, maybe that. Let's take these things into account, which is honestly what I need. Yeah. Less of you being on my side. And I feel like it just provides really good perspective. And I feel like you always think about the other side, which is nice. What's hard is that's just so natural for me. Like, I don't like conflict. So even if two friends are fighting, like, I'm, I've am i always was that friend in the middle growing up, like, when friends fought. Because I'd be like, no, I get your side. I'm like, no, I get their side, too. Like, I'm yeah. like, I see it. You all just need to, like, talk and figure it's it out. It's like, when you when I'm in the moment, trust me, I'm like, come on. No, but, but when it's done and when I step back, I'm like, that was really great perspective to have. But what's hard is when you are the close friend. Because Ashley, my sister, is just like this, too. And there's times where I'm like, just be like, damn, fuck that bitch. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm yeah. like, just be on, like, make me feel seen and heard. Yeah. So what helps is I feel like, if, if we are in a moment like that for you just to be like, hey, all I need for you right now is to hype me up and let me know I'm not crazy. Oh, that's great. Then I'll be like, yeah, fuck that bitch. <laughs> oh, I love knowing yeah, that. Yeah, but if you genuinely are like, I don't understand what's going on, then I'll be like, well, they're probably blah, 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 yes. blah, blah, blah. But I really appreciate that. And I think like not a lot of people do that or can even do that. So I think that's definitely a superpower oh of yours. God, thank you so much, darling. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ooh, this one is so good. Oh, God. Wild card. Admit something. This is equivalent to my tell me a secret. So I'm like living. <laughs> um, I have to admit as much as I love Callie and I missed him when he was gone. I had a lot of fun with you. <laughs> when I was like, I'm going to spend the night again. You're like, yes. <laughs> I honestly like Cal just left for a week for work and um, as it was honestly like, I mean, he's never left me for that long because uh-uh. usually I'm the one gone or he left for like a couple days, like a few years ago, yeah. like that was it. So I was really scared, but and I felt like very safe in my house. Oh my fucking God. What was that? Is this door locked? Can we make sure it's locked? <laughs> Leave all this in drama. <laughs> no, that wasn't an earthquake, but that was more than a door slamming. Yeah, the it felt like below couch. us too. Yeah, it did. I wonder if you heard it on the audio. I'm sure the, the full thing shook. Okay, Cal left for a week and Alicia came over and spent the night a couple nights and I had a really fun time. And it made me really realize how important it is to have space from your partner. Yeah. Because as much as I missed him and we were also like in contact even more than I had anticipated we would yeah. be. Like he was texting me like 50 times a day, which was really nice to hear from him, obviously. But I mean, we live together. We both work from home. Yeah. And I feel like I didn't realize how nice it was to have a little break and like for me to miss him and for him to miss me. Mm-hmm. And yes. A huge part of me getting close to my friends is I think one of my love languages is probably quality time because I've always been the friend to like crash at pl- people's places. Like even at your apartment, I would just like come and stay for five days. Mm-hmm. So any times a close friend has gotten a boyfriend and the boyfriend moved in, there was a change and shift in our relationship simply because a huge part of our friendship was me just like crashing and like staying over all the time. And obviously I can still, obviously I know I can crash anytime, but if Cal's there, it's I'm different. like, it's just different versus like when he's gone, I was like, Oh, I can come over and yeah. like just chill, you yeah. know? So it was fun for me too, for that reason. But. I love it. I told Cal too. I was like, he was like, did you miss me? I was like, of course. You're like, not really. But I also <laughs> had more fun. Like I had more fun than I thought I yeah. would. I thought I'd be like really upset and like sitting at home crying. And I was like, Oh wait, 
that would be a little isn't unhealthy. that weird though because even when ashley's gone i feel like i have more freedom even though it's like she's there it doesn't same change. level of freedom yeah. i know isn't that so interesting like i'm more inclined to watch whatever i want on tv when she's gone versus like if she, like it's not that i can't yeah it's so weird it's so interesting swap a song suggestion your partner may enjoy we're both players. Ooh. Oh, I love Skyline by Khalid. It's so good. It's his new song. Oh, I haven't heard it. it is, you love it's Khalid. It's night and I'm running out of time. Wait. Would you take my hand? Like, yeah, wait. I don't know that one. It just, it gives me very like Louis the Child vibes. Like a summer vibe? Yes. I would have to say, what have I been listening to? Oh, I really like Conan's new song called Disaster, but I'm sure you listened to it already because you're a Conan stan. I do love Conan. Did you listen to Dis- Disaster? I, if you played it, I'd be like, yes, I've heard this, it's but I don't know how it goes. Really? Every Conan song I feel like comes on and I'm like, but I don't know it's him. And I'm like, this is a good song. Yeah. And I look and I'm like, oh, it's Conan. Like, every time. And Disaster is really, really, really good. I feel like my next questions are all kind of similar. Do we want to pull from a different yeah. stack? Let's go to level Just two. Just kidding. My suggestion didn't work. Well, I thought these were going to be more. We were on reflection. This one is connection. So I feel like these might be a little. Yeah. Reflection is more about the us. Conversation. So I think you'll like this one better anyway. Yeah. <laughs> do I go first? Yeah, you go. Okay. Ooh, yeah, yeah. This is going to be good. Oh, God. Yeah. I hate when you do that. Okay. What question are you trying to answer most in your life right now? Ooh. Ooh, I don't know. Why are we here? I'm just kidding. <laughs> like, what's my purpose? Where'd the dinosaurs go? Um, uh, I guess just how can I be more present and enjoy every moment? Like, not take things for granted. Be more present. Present, secure, like, more of a stronger foundation, I guess. Love that. Is that good? Yeah, that's great. <laughs> what are you more afraid of, failure or success, and why? Hmm, that's a good question. Failure, I guess. I can't really think of how success could be a bad thing other than maybe the things that come with success. Yeah. But success in general, I feel like is obviously something that we all strive for. But the thing is, I failed so many times as well, honey pop. Yeah. <laughs> but like, it was such a great learning experience and I wouldn't have changed it for the world. So I'm not really f- afraid of either. And you can't really get anywhere in life if you don't fail. So, And that is why you're a gem. That's mm-hmm. all I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay. Finish the sentences. Strangers would describe me as blank, only I know that I am blank. Strangers would describe me as intimidating. Mm -hmm. (laughs) But I know I am more insecure than they think. (laughs) (laughs) But I know that I am nice. (laughs) I know I am nice. Nice. (laughs) I know I am banana. Well, that was good. Thank you, thank you. Wild card, both players. Write the three things that are most important to you in your life and compare. Specifics or like general? I think like what you think is good. Like obviously I know Daisy is important to you, but like you don't have to say Daisy. <gasps> that, was, that was literally my number one. Li- I, but like I know, <laughs> we all know, we all know. Okay, yeah. okay. Other than like friends, family, and, and dogs. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, I feel like friends and family are like obvious. Obviously work it's important for me to do things that are fulfilling. Like it's important for me to be doing stuff that I enjoy, um, that, that I'm proud of. I think it would be very, very hard for me to have a job that I'm not passionate about. So like just passion and drive about my work. Got it. My number one, number one would be connecting with people. Ooh, that's good. That's good. Whether that's, good. that's through content in real life at the grocery store, Family, friends, Mama Daisy, whatever Mama it may Daisy. be. Mama Daisy. Mama Daisy. Right, we can move on. It said three, but. Okay. <laughs> when you're asked how, <laughs> when you're asked how are you, how often do you answer truthfully? Um, lately I've been trying, I've been trying to be more, more truthful. Um, but I would say 50, 50 mm-hmm. of like, oh yeah, I'm good. Even though I'm like, yeah, I don't want to go into it or yeah. just like. I'm okay, you know. I literally caught myself doing that the other day. Someone's like, how are you? And I was going to spill. And I was like, good. Yeah, you're like, read the room. It was more so like, I just didn't, I was tired. I didn't want to talk. Because like, I knew they'd be supportive. I was just like, You know what I've been doing lately? And I kind of learned this from my mom. I did it to a few people yesterday too. um, When we were at a party, I was like, how are you one out of 10? And then it's nice because people will be like, no one wants to say 10. Because 10 like, 10, you're fucking great. But then if they say like seven, you're like, oh, like what's the negative? Like, oh, like ha- why 8.5? Like what's what's bothering that's you? Missing. Yeah. yeah that's and good. It, it makes it easier to like 
say that stuff without just being like, yeah, I'm like feeling kind of shitty right yeah. now. You know what yeah. I mean? I like that a lot. So how are you? One out of 10. Uh, I'm like a six. A six? I'm a six. See, that makes me be like, wow, four. Okay. Like what's one thing on your mind right now? Um, I'm awaiting Daisy's test results and we have another family member that's sick right now. So I'm just literally waiting for the phone call from the vet that everything's fine. Then I'll go up to an eight. And then once the surgery is done on the family, I'll be back at a 10. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I, I said that because you said I didn't ask you how you are often. What number are we at right now? <laughs> <laughs> um, I would say I'm at an eight. Good. Yeah. Why are we minus What's two What's the though? negative two? Negative two is, uh, oh my God, wait, am I a nine? <laughs> <laughs> well, what's the minus one then? I just, I feel like 10's like, ten. Wait, that's so exciting though. Compared I know, to like compared two weeks to ago. Literally that's great. Oh my God, am I, I'm not She's a, a 10. I don't think I'm a 10, but I can't think of anything that's Ms. like. Miss Zoloft has come and she's arrived. Well, we did up our dose. <laughs> we did, exactly. But, <laughs> she's like, but I shouldn't be able to really feel side effects for like uh Oh, at least a week or two. <gasps> so just on our own, we're a 10. I guess I'm like, am I on my own? Wait, I'm like, or is it kicked in? That's okay, regardless. I know, I know let's not think about it. That's amazing <laughs> though. Yeah, no, I feel good. We're at a 10. I'm a 10. <laughs> good. The title, I'm a 10. I'm a 10. You're a six. Alicia Marie is a 10. I'm a 10, you're a six. <laughs> so she's a six, but I'm just kidding. Um, okay, what are you still trying to prove to yourself? Oh, geez. That I'm enough. Ooh, I feel that. Mm, I'm like, when will that end? I don't, here's the thing. Spoiler alert. Does it ever end? I think that's everyone's fear in life. And it just manifests different ways. Like some people are like, am I enough for like this partner? Am I enough with my work? And unfortunately, I don't think it ever ends. (laughs) I will say it's gotten significantly better. Yeah. And I do think age helps a lot because you just become more sure of yourself. But like- hate it <laughs> but like hate, hate it, it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god how are you really oh we're good we're good we're good we're at a 10 next one next one next one um has a stranger ever changed your life oh my god yes really multiple you know me i love a deep talk especially a drunk deep talk <laughs> specifically there was this one conversation you might be listening uh, if you're listening with this guy um, who I didn't know. And I met through a mutual friend and long story short, we ended up having a heart to heart on this party bus. And like, when I tell you, and I'm not going to go into it cause it was like his story and stuff. And I don't want to like air all that out, but it was like, I felt so connected to him because we both could connect on something that was very like kind of traumatizing that we both like been through. Wow. And it made me realize if I didn't go say hi, if I didn't open up a little bit that made him open up. And then if he didn't open up more like that night could have happened where we never talked. Yeah. But it did happen. And I was like, whoa, instantly your life can change so quick when you meet someone. But it's kind of up to us to like let that happen. You know what I mean? Like like God or the universe like puts you in the same room. But like it's up to you to like open up to someone. Seize the opportunity. Yeah. yeah. That's just the, one of the first ones that came to my mind. And I remember being like, whoa, you're like one of the, I need to hang out with him more. But I'm like, you're one of my favorite people that I've ever met. Wow. But it was because of that, like we were able to connect over like something, you know. And I definitely was. It was easier to talk to a stranger about shit. You know, totally. And that was one of those situations where I was like, "Wow, I'm telling you a lot of things that I wouldn't normally tell people." You know? Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Sorry, I feel like I sound so like facetious when I'm like, "That's amazing." No, no, That's no. Great. It's but hard I when really I'm being vague, vague, but no, yeah, no, no. But I truly mean that. Thank you. If you could get to know anyone in your life on a deeper level, who would it be and why? In my life, yeah, right now, that I already know. Yeah, not a celebrity. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, or them. Um. Like, who's someone where you're like, I want to get to know them more? I am obsessed with food with soy. Like, obsessed on another level. And she and I are already close. But I just find her to be the most breathtaking, like, fresh breath. What is it? Breath of fresh air. (laughs) I've ever met in my entire life. Like, she is truly someone that I aspire to be because she never has a negative thing to say about anyone. And let me tell you, someone recently gave her the reason to be negative and she still carried the situation with such grace. I'm like, that's you. No, because I text her being like, want me to block them? Because I will. I fucking hate them I'm now like, for you. I'm like, tell me later. It's tea. But I was like, so upset for her. And she was like, no, like, it's okay. Yeah. I don't want to, I don't I want that, that to affect anything I've never for you. met her. She's like, if I like the sweetest person I've ever met in my life, literally like the nicest person. And I just like, am obsessed with her oh, I love and that. I want to just know everything about her and just like be cuddled up by her all the time. 
love it. <laughs> okay. Wait, cuddled. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, like, what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> um, <laughs> press shuffle on your music library. Oh Explain God. the first song that comes up. Oh God. <laughs> I have so many. Um, Please be a Lord DIY song. Please I'm going to put it on. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. The first thing that came up is Belle reprise from the Beauty and the Beast soundtrack, Emma Watson. <laughs> oh my God. Do you have the whole soundtrack? Yeah. <laughs> I love musicals. Um, I don't, I mean, I haven't listened to it since it came out, but like. I'm so surprised you bought it. That's where. Um, I downloaded it. The Ariana Grande, John Legend cover. Yes. Oh, <gasps> so good. So good. That's so interesting. Wait, now I want to do mine. Yeah, do I'm yours. just curious. Songs. Shuffle. <gasps> so it goes by Taylor Swift. <gasps> so it, that's one of my favorite T-Swift songs. I love, so I, I think, is that 1989? No, Reputation. No, Reputation. You're right, you're right, you're right. And Sorry, Swifties. Baby. That part. <laughs> um, okay. Can I, I was on my phone. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, what's the most pain you've ever been in that wasn't physical? I think we all know the answer. I think we can all relate to heartbreak. Yeah, <laughs> literally. I feel like not good enough for someone, even though you are good enough on good your enough. own. Exactly. What title would you give this chapter in your life? Almost 30. I'm just kidding. I was going to say almost 30. <laughs> almost 30. Maybe that's my, maybe that's the era. It would be something about everything I'm looking for is already inside of me. Mm. You know what I mean? And I don't know what that very like strategic poetic title would be. Like May that. I name your last chapter that we just closed? Yes. Hopefully. Not hopefully. Because she can come back and that's okay. Yeah. Depressed, but well-dressed. <laughs> Thank you so much. The comments that are like, you guys look so good on the podcast. I'm like, thank you. We really tried. Really tried. Wild card. Ask a question you'd be too afraid to ask. Something you wouldn't dare to ask. <sighs> oh, damn it. <laughs> You're asking me, right? No, you ask me. I ask you. Oh, wait, do I? I think you ask me. <gasps> which I I'd much you. rather have because okay. I cannot think of a question. Okay. Um, no. Okay. Do it for. Okay. We'll both do it. We'll both do it. Oh, I have my question. I've always wondered this, actually. Uh-oh. Do you want me to go? Yeah. Um, do you feel pressure to not get out and date, but do you feel like any mm -hmm. sense of pressure by seeing like a lot of our friends and people like in our age group in relationships that are most likely going to turn into engagements in the near future? I think I haven't felt that yet. Good. But I think I've, this past six months year has been the first time where I'm like, okay, I think I'm ready to like, like clearly I have to put in work if I want like to date, you know what I mean? Like, Do you think like you feel that pressure from dating. seeing like any of us or just like on your own? Do you think it'll like expedited it a lot at all? I think it's more myself, but I will say in the industry that we're in, like, or at least in LA, I don't know, wherever it's, it's not like all my friends are wifed up with kids where I think a lot of people struggle with that who are a little younger in other like cities or states, like here it's not unheard of to be 30, 40 and not have kids. You know yeah, what I mean? So I think sure. that's one of the pluses to living in LA is, you know, you, you don't feel pressure that way as much. I will say I've gone to weddings, but no one in my like immediate circle has really gotten married. Mm -hmm. However, that is going to start happening. So I'm curious in six months or so if my opinion changes on that. Mm hmm. You know? I was always just curious, like, in the moment, if you've been feel feeling anything. No. Good. I'm glad. No, I do think it'd be different if, like, all of you guys were, like, going on, like, couple trips and, like, all that kind of stuff. I'd be like, oh, fuck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I haven't felt that way. But you'd always be invited with Ollie anyway. See? Maybe because I know. <laughs> I'm like, hee, hee. Um, Question for you that I've never wanted or I've always wanted to ask. <gasps> oh. Do you, th do you think I interrupt you too much on this podcast? <laughs> Out of 10 times, eight times, no. Okay, okay. To be also fully honest, I feel like I didn't even, oh, no, no, no. Because I did notice it in the beginning, but then we had to talk about it. Yeah. And I truly thought it got better. And then the comments <laughs> didn't think so. So then that made me more aware. And I'm like, oh, m is it not better? Yeah. But I truly thought it got better. <laughs> and truly eight out of 10 times, I don't notice it or I don't care because most of the time I also have like nothing good to say anyways. I feel like also I can tell your face mm -hmm. when you have to say something. And I'm just when, trying to remember. And when you're just like kind of sitting there, I think that's when I ramble a lot. I'm like, okay, I can tell you're not like, oh yeah, I want to jump in and say something. Mm -hmm. So I feel like, maybe, or maybe I'm reading your face wrong. No, I mean like if I have something to say, I'm usually just like while you're talking, trying to listen, but yeah. also trying to remember what I have to say. Yeah. Otherwise, no thoughts, just listening. That's funny. That was for <laughs> you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, what is something you wouldn't want to change about yourself? I love that. 
I know more positivity in the world. Do you remember? Mole. Do you? <laughs> I've thought about it, got, getting it removed. I love her, but I just in my head, I think. Well, I remember there was a time when I was like twelve, where the dermatologist was like, "Oh, do you? I mean, it's not cancerous. It probably never will be. But if you want it removed, we can t- remove it." Oh my god, I've never even thought about it being cancerous. It's it's just a it, it's oh, fine. It's fine. Okay. Um, and I was like, eh, like I don't want a scar. And I remember I never thought about my mole on my head until YouTube was the first time I ever saw it in a negative way where people were like, oh, what's on your face? Is that is it? Blah, blah, blah. What and I'd be, like, I'd be like, <gasps> I'd be like, what? But then, then I felt like it would be weird to remove it. Cause I was like, I don't want to remove it just cause people are making me feel like I want to remove it. Yeah. Even though I was like, no, I wouldn't like mind if it was gone, but I'm like, I'm too lazy. I don't want it to do. It. I mean, maybe I will still, but like I never, in my head, I was like, well, I should have done it when I was 12. Because now there'd be like no scar. Because yeah. like you know what I mean. Yeah. So it's funny how my brain works that way. But I'm not opposed to it. But yeah, that was the first like moment. She adds character. I like her. She adds character. Okay, but wait. No, give me your answer. Yeah. yeah. One thing I like about myself. You wouldn't want to change. Honestly, it's as much as I hate my all or nothing mentality. I love when I like want to do something. I fucking do it. Mm-hmm. Whether it's fitness, whether it's YouTube, even if it's learning and researching about how to ride a unicycle. Like I like get this obsessive hyper focus thing. And, and maybe that's the ADHD that my doctor were talking about. I think that's, I think that's OCD, bibs. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, hmm, but um, I like low-key love it. <laughs> I think it's I so think cool. That's, yeah. And it's not something that can be taught. I th- yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of weird, but, but also it's the downfall of my existence, so that too. <laughs> I grew up with a mom who's the same way, and it's a, a very interesting interesting thing to watch. But I feel like unless you like fully experience it like that, like you don't get it. But like, I, I know what you're talking well, about. Well, when I, I have it. kids, you're going to have to help me because I don't want them to feel like pressured or like, I don't want to have like unrealistic expectations for them. But uh, I also like- You got to talk to Suze. Ha, I need to talk to you yeah. about yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, ooh. Um, are you missing anyone right now? Do you think they're missing you too? Yes, I miss my auntie every day. I haven't seen her in a very long time. And I know she misses me so much, but I talk to her every day. So that's okay. I love it. Auntie, auntie. What would your younger self not believe about your life today? Oh, bitch. Where everything. do we start? Literally everything. Literally everything. The fact that I'm not married with kids by now. <laughs> um, the fact that. Um, Did I, you really think you would be? At 20. I thought I would have kids nine. at 21. I was like, I'm going to be a young, cool mom. Oh, my goodness. 21. Granted, I didn't really, like, clearly that didn't happen. Like, it can be done. I don't it's even think it's going to be 31 if I'm thinking straight. <laughs> um, Crazy, right? That's pretty so crazy. I was like, I want to be a young, cool mom. And now I'm like, we can the still thing be is, a young, even cool if, mom. No, literally, even <laughs> if you have a baby at 31 or even, like, 35, like, you're, you're still a young, cool mom. Exactly. I mean, obviously, the the fact that we've toured, the fact that we have, like, a fucking award-winning podcast. Um, <laughs> I never thought I would go to New York. Like, I remember dreaming of going to New York, let alone yeah. having, like, a sold-out show there. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. that's crazy. Having a makeup t- palette with Tarte. Like, what the fuck? Like, a makeup palette? Mac mm-hmm. Baby 11 show? Getting Mac PR? <laughs> okay? Mac Baby 11 is... Sh- <laughs> like, there's so many things I have to pinch myself with. So, I, I like reflection like this where you're like, damn, I have done a lot, you know? Mac PR. Oh, oh I, my God. I felt the exact same way. I literally still freak out when I get it. Did you get the holiday collection with the no, red and the white? they don't send me everything. Oh, but me, it's okay. It's I don't want to push it. I want it, to be, I want it to be natural. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I think Ashley gets more Mac PR than I do, but I'm fine with that. I'm like, I'm like, it's okay. The ones that you do, then you save. Yes, because I'm like, I probably should post them more. <laughs> <laughs> what is a dream you've let go of? Uh, hmm. Not necessarily a dream, but definitely when I was younger, all I ever wanted to do was look like a fucking model on the covers of magazines Mood. Uh, until I finally realized a few years ago, like, oh, that's just not your body type. Yeah. You never will. And there's nothing wrong with that. Literally. <laughs> literally. It's a, it's not a, uh, <laughs> no, it's the fa- lit. Like when I think of the times we would look at like ourselves in middle school, thinking we would look like a Victoria's Secret model if we bought that bathing suit. I'd be like, damn, I'm going to look so fucking good at that. I'd order, it was like this pink and navy polka dot bikini. I remember putting it on and being like, <laughs> like, ah, what the fuck? What's like, going I'm like, on? where are my boobs? No, literally. And I'm like, yo, if like, I, I just, I was like, oh, my boobs don't look like that. I'm like, yo, of course, Alicia, she has a boob dog. Like there's no- We talked about this last no time. No way in hell that I will ever look like Kendall Jenner. Yeah. And not that necessarily it was a dream either. This is just like- um an interpretation of the question, but I've come to terms with, I will never look like that. I'll never have that body type. And that is a thousand percent. Okay. But isn't it crazy how at one point, like that's all you would focus on. Cause at least for me, I would focus on that 
and then now not caring mm-hmm. you're like whoa i never thought i'd come to this place where i just like I, you where you let go of that i, I think that's crazy i love following so many creators that have similar body types to myself Same. and just like fucking own it and it makes me feel so much more confident in myself and i feel like that's what we should be doing yeah following people that are positive that look like us yeah because it's the most inspiring thing in the world yep next one next one what is the most unexplainable thing that's ever happened to you I mean, probably somehow being in the same room as Leonardo DiCaprio and not freaking out and not taking a photo of him. Oops. <laughs> I mean, I took a video. No, it's fine. But not even that. He brushed shoulders with you. He I didn't literally notice, walked though. this close to you and then walked this close to me. And I was like, oh my God. That's and no so one funny. noticed. It was so funny. But like, you know what's crazy? Like, yeah, I got a video because I j- just honestly, because I thought it was funny, no, not because I was freaking yes, out. Exactly. But all the comments were like, First of all, first of all, most of the comments are like, is he looking for his next girlfriend? The <laughs> other comments were like, how are you not freaking out? And I don't know how, but we were pretty chill. It does take a lot for me to fangirl over someone, but he was someone where I was like, damn, that's cool. Yeah. Like I, I like I came on, I told I was like, I didn't care about anyone at the party, but I did see Leo and she was like, shut the fuck up. That's some But English like shit. big inception fan here. Like, oh, it's so good. Have you watched Shutter Island yet? No, I haven't. I like kinda wanna watch, but I feel like we'll hate it, but I kinda wanna watch is it. Is it scary? Yeah. That's the thing. Should we watch it together? No, I actually I take it back. I don't wanna do that actually. <laughs> You're like, never, <laughs> never mind. mind, you won't comfort me. <laughs> okay. Wild card. Call someone you admire and tell them why you appreciate them. Put them on speakerphone. <gasps> oh my god. We don't have to do that one. Is that me? Yeah. Am I supposed to Oh, okay. What was the question? Call someone you admire and tell them why you appreciate them. Put them on speakerphone. Let's see. Okay. Let's see. Oh, wait, I love this. Mm-hmm. We should do a prank calling episode. Oh my God, we should. <laughs> it's so immature. Hello. Hi, Susie. How are you, honey? I'm good. I'm on the pod. Alicia's here. Oh, oh she can't hear you. Hi. Oh, She's I saying. Love her with the bangs. <gasps> <gasps> Thank you, Suze. You are on speakerphone. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're on oh. speakerphone. Sorry. I was supposed to tell you that for legality purposes. But we are recording the podcast, and I got a question for the game we're playing that said to call someone that you admire. And oh, I wanted that's to. That's not here. Huh? <laughs> I said, that's not here. <laughs> <laughs> I love you very much. You say I thank you. you. <laughs> She's like, that's all. <laughs> that's it. Um, I was telling Alicia how like you and her have very similar personalities where you're very like all or nothing. Like remember your cooking shows and then your <laughs> your um, K dramas and then tennis, how you get like yes. obsessed with things. Me and too. then she was saying when she has kids, she's like, how am I going to have kids and like not expect that of them? Like being like obsessed and being perfect. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of a too loud that's of a too laugh. Laughing. A little bit of a like, too loud of a laugh, mom. Um, so that funny. She, she said she's going to talk to you about how to handle that. Or don't even worry. Amazing. They just come the way they want to come. Look at you. Look how hard I tried to get you to be like type A. And you're like, whatever. It's like, no. Exactly. But now you love you love me for who I am. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I'm hanging up now. <laughs> it turns out I don't admire you anymore. No, of course I do. I mean, that's how we get along. I know? know, I know. Okay, I love you so much. I'll talk to you later. I love you. Tell Alicia she looks hot. Thank well, you. you. You can tell her. She's listening to you. <laughs> I keep forgetting. Okay. <laughs> okay. Bye, guys. Love you. Bye. bye. She's so cute. <laughs> She's a hoot. <laughs> oh, my God. Truly, though, Shane and I could not care less about anything in the world. And she was like, come <laughs> on. <laughs> Describe your perfect day. I would say April 28th. <laughs> 5th? Will she say 5th? I don't know. Because it's not too hot and not too cold. <laughs> All you need is a light jacket. Keep it. Don't even answer again. Keep it moving. That was it. No, I know. See what oh. gonna... <laughs> <laughs> what is the last? <laughs> what is the last thing you lied to your mother about? <laughs> oh, that I admire her. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, hmm. Honestly, I don't lie to her. I I truly, truly don't. She and I are super close. And um, I don't know. I have no reason to lie. I don't love that. I don't think. Because I I actually tell her far too much, but she loves it. (laughs) She like lives for the drama. Okay. What's been the best compliment a stranger has ever given you? Ooh. I think what's funny is anytime a stranger has come up, I've been like, you're really pretty. Or like, wow, you're like, hey, like, just want to let you know, like, you're, like, really pretty or something like that. That always obviously means a lot. 
Because one, I actually don't get that much in person. Like, I feel like in comments and YouTube, and people are like, yeah, my ears are pretty. But like, that, I, I'm kind of numb to that because I'm like, eh. I don't really get that that much in person. But when I do, it, obviously, it means a lot. However, it whenever someone has come up to me and been like, yo, like, something about your energy, like, something about, y- like, your aura, your presence, like, is really, like, you shine. Or, like, something that's you more. You light up a room. Yeah, something that's yeah. more characteristic like that, I really like. Um, and means a lot because I think that is like where real confidence comes from versus just superficial things, you know? So yeah, probably something more about like your energy and it, it's like, damn, you're a stranger. Like that must mean something. I don't yeah, know. I like, I, agree. I, I like that a lot. That's what I would think too. Um, have you ever told someone I love you, but didn't mean it? If so, why? <gasps> yeah, I literally do all the time. Like in general, like love you. Bye. Yeah. yeah literally, <laughs> I was like, love you so much. Bye. And I'm like, I don't love them. Why did I say that? We're not at that level yet. Yeah. But, but not, deeply. I love you. Yeah. No, but like, love you. Yeah. Like I do just throw that around. I also think it's because I get nervous sometimes. Yeah. And like, as we know, I'm not good at with hugs or like saying like, I anticipate like a goodbye hug for like 30 minutes before we leave. <laughs> so I feel like I just get nervous at the end. I'm like, love you. Bye. Love you so much. Have a good night. Bye. <laughs> so that's probably what. That's funny. What is a compliment you wish you received more frequently? <laughs> that I'm pretty. I'm sorry. <laughs> I knew it. I like that, that I'm nice. <laughs> that I'm nice. That I'm not intimidating. <laughs> that I'm like a really dope person. <laughs> I'm hilarious. Probably that I'm funny. <laughs> I'm being dead ass. That's something like if you get my sarcastic humor, like you get it, you get it. Like sometimes I'll post stories. Like when I posted the shot story and I put, we're all in this together with high school. I'm like, this is hilarious. <laughs> like how come more people like, aren't like laughing at this? Like, this is funny. But I think a lot of it is because I don't think people realize how intentional it is. Like I didn't just throw that song on. I was like, oh, the context with this song, with the fact that we're taking a shot is fucking hilarious. Does that make sense? And no, it makes sense. <laughs> I personally don't think it's that funny. Oh, I think it's hilarious. But I do think you have a more niche sense of humor. Yeah. But that's why it's more special when yeah. people do get it. I know. But like when people were like, huh, it's not that funny. I thought it was a good song. I just didn't think it was that funny. But Cal thought it was funny. So yeah. maybe you guys share a similar <laughs> sense of humor. Well, we're both Aries. So maybe True. that's why you love us. <laughs> True. <laughs> love <Right>. ya. <laughs> <laughs> right. How can you become a better person? I think not overreacting as much. Ooh. I feel like when I overreact to situations, it makes it seem obviously way bigger than it is. And then it consumes me. And then it consumes literally everyone else in my life who will listen to me talk about it (laughs) till I don't care anymore. But I do feel like there'd be less drama and less. Anxiety. Yeah, anxiety. Things to worry about. I get better sleep. If I just like. I actually, you know what? I take it back. I still think I should st- not overreact, but a f- part of me overreacting is when something comes up, I have to talk to like eight people about yeah. it. By the time I'm done talking about it, I'm exhausted and I'm over it, but then I've exhausted eight people with my with my problem. So I feel like I need to just- um, Or you could like just go talk to that person that, instead of having to- Not even necessarily that. It's like, it's also like stupid random shit. Like yeah. it might not even be a person. It's like, it's like something that's bothering me on TV or yeah. something. I'm like, I need to talk to everybody about yeah. this. I need to make this everyone's problem. But then my favorite is when you call, you'll be like, I'm over it, but I'm just letting you know. Like you're very like, I just want to keep you in the loop. And I'm like, oh, not that I didn't ask, but like, it's fine. I want to hear about it. But you're always like, I'm fine. But I just like, I had to let you know what happened, but we're okay. And I know, now I know that's you processing it. Yes. Where before I'd be like, wait, so you're fine? Like what, what? I don't get it. Like the I'd be confused. The only way to process is if I talk about it. Yeah. Like eight times. That's so funny. And then I'm good. Yeah. But it, that's, but that was me processing yeah. it. <laughs> but also keeping you in the loop. Cause I'm like, she wants to know. Yeah. <laughs> Even if she doesn't want to know, <laughs> like, she's going to know. I'm okay, but just letting you know. Exactly. I think I, I could keep things to myself and work through them by myself more than like immediately going to like calling you, calling Ollie, calling Cal, whatever it may be. I could do a better job at working through things on my own. Like I, I should own that and be <laughs> intuitive about that. What's so funny is I'm the complete opposite and I need to talk about stuff you more. You really do. <laughs> yeah, I, I, know. I keep everything I know in. you do. Okay. Sing the chorus of your favorite song of all time. <gasps> Get into it. Oh, I have so many favorite songs though. So this is really hard. I know. But the first one that came to my mind is, you take the air out of my lungs, you make me feel it. I don't know this uh, one. Don't take the money by bleachers. Oh, that's like one of my like. Also, Khalid though better. I like that one has a nostalgia feeling for me too. Which one? Uh, Nothing feels bad. Yeah, you love that this. song. But that was like I was just going through a really hard time in my life there, so I was just like you know, um, people watching Conan. 
Oh, you do love that song too. When I talk, <sighs> the lyrics is why I like His it. Lyrics are really, really I want to really feel good. all the love and emotion. Be that attached to the person I'm holding. One day I'll be fallen without caution. But for now, I'll be people watching. That is my life. Wow. That is, I'm like, I want to feel. I feel like you and Conan actually relate to each other a lot. Is he the fire sign? Oh, I have no idea. But you, like I, from what, like when I know in like interviews, I feel like you guys oh are my very God. similar. But actually. like that, that perfectly describes my love life where I'm like, I want that, but I'm too scared now. Mm-hmm. So one day I'll, I'll be falling without caution, <laughs> but for now I'm just watching. <laughs> for me, I remember before I ever had any experience, I've probably talked about this a hundred times on the podcast, but when I, before I had any dating experience and all I wanted was to get my fucking heart broken so I could feel <laughs> something, I would think of, um, it's a quarter after one. What is it? What's the song? How does it go? I, I think it literally says like, I'd rather feel something. Everything. I'd rather feel heartbreak than feel nothing at all. And I was like, I'm <laughs> so Never been through heartbreak. And, and then once I fell through heartbreak, I was like, Ugh. You're like, damn Take it, it back. It's different. Take it back. That's so funny. Look at you. What's your father's name? And tell me one thing about him. <gasps> My father's name is Ani. Oh, there's so many things to say. He is like the male version of me. Oh. <laughs> That's why I like, I'm so chill and go with the flow not type A, like just like fucking coasting through life. Like he's, I am him. And then my brother is my mom. He's very type That's A, very so anxious, very OCD. And my dad and I are always just like, what's going on with them? <laughs> Want to go hang out? <laughs> Let's look at the backyard plants. Like he's just chilling. That's me and my mom versus Ashley yeah. and my dad. Isn't it so funny how, what, how it happens? Yes. Okay. What has been your earliest recollection of happiness? I thought you were going to say of life. I was like, <laughs> Riding my bike in my parents' old backyard. <laughs> Getting stuck in the uh, wardrobe things at the mall. Oh, what, wait, what was it? Of happiness? Yeah. Um, and I was like, wait, that didn't go. You need to tell that story one day, though. Yeah. That's such Insanity. a good story. Rat girl. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> wait, did you see my clip of me going on Zane and Heath's high episode? Uh-uh. We did a high spelling bee. Wait, you know I was there, right? Oh, <laughs> I was too high to remember. <laughs> Alicia, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot you were there. I forgot you drove me. <laughs> I was like, you know when you explain things to viewers? I genuinely was like, you're explaining oh that God. really weird. Yeah, I was there, bitch. I literally forgot the you were there. The clip you got, I filmed that. I you were there. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, 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 leave it, leave it. No, That's yeah, so funny. <laughs> Um, tell me about it. Tell me about the spelling bee. Yeah. <laughs> Z- or no, Heath. We had to spell Renaissance. And he spelled it R E N E S S A U N C E. Sound. Renaissance. <laughs> Sorry. I'll what go was watch your it. earliest collection of happiness? <laughs> uh, my earliest recollection. Recollection. Of I was like, I was gonna pass collection. by it. <laughs> collection. Collection. Ooh. Okay, well, I remember being very, very, very young. I'm not sure how old I was when I first went to Disneyland. However, I remember coming home and I got, uh, it was a little pl- plastic treasure chest and I had chocolate coins in it. And that, I just remember being obsessed with them being so happy. But I'm like, how old was I then? I think I was pretty young. I have a photo of me there. I want to say it was like maybe like three or four. Oh, yeah. Chocolate coins. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> Disneyland. <laughs> okay. Like- what lesson took you the longest to unlearn? <gasps> Oh my God, just diet culture in general. Yeah. I feel like I'm still really struggling with, but I've made strides towards, um, but just like unlearning so many things that have been ingrained in our brains since we were babies because of all the diet culture in the nineties and what our moms went through and everything like that. Um, it's something, and just like a better relationship with food. I'm still trying to learn, but I've made strides. No, literally same. Is there a feeling you miss? Hmm. <laughs> Being in love. <gasps> yeah. Oh my goodness. Like that's a good ass feeling, you know? That actually one of the questions I went over was um, what is one word you would describe the feeling of being in love? Ooh, one word. Mm-hmm. Bliss. Actually, it's not all bliss. It kind it's of not sucks all. sometimes. I feel like at least for me personally, like since I love having like someone to lean on, I like I, I would say the word like safe in that sense of like when you have your partner and you're like going somewhere, like being able to like lean on them. When I feel comfortable with someone, 
it means so much to me. So I think in that sense, like being able to feel like so a hundred percent myself and comfortable with someone, like I'm like, oh man, I miss that. Sometimes. I love that word. Also, just someone to cuddle with. Cuddle, <laughs> cuddle. I really, I like recently. Cal and I are hitting three years in like three Same. weeks. Isn't that nuts? Yeah. Um, but I've like noticed recently how you know we we're, we're out of the honeymoon phase now. And more recently, I feel like as I'm getting older and just like more life shit is happening, like crazy, like health things and just like really making me realize how short life is yeah. more recently with him specifically, I've been so worried about the thought of losing him. Mm. You know what I mean? Like if he goes to the grocery store, I'm like, I get so scared that like he's not going to come back or yeah. like something were to happen to him, God forbid, or when he went on his trip, like I feel like I treasure the moments that we have together even more. Of course I always do, but like even more recently because I realize how short life is and like you, and then I watch those TikToks or there's those poor widows or something happens and it's like, so random. It, it's yeah. so horrible and it's like such a freak thing, but like, who's to say that can't happen to one of us? Yeah. You know what I mean? It can happen to oh, you. Oh, well, that's the thing. Everyone thinks it would never happen to them because yeah. it's so random, but mm -hmm. it's so true. I've been like untraining my brain when I watch the TikTok because like my first thought, because I freak out watching it and I feel so horrible for them. I'm like, oh my God, that would never happen to me. And then I'm like, well, actually it could. So you need to really like yeah. appreciate the time that you have with yeah. these people. Oh, I know. I hate getting older for that it's reason. tough. Okay. Last official question. In one word, how would you describe our conversation? This one? Yeah. Oh, insightful. Ew. Yeah. What is a lesson you will take away from our conversation? Mm, to let things go. That's good. Oh, and also if I really need you to be on my side, then yeah. I can tell you, bitch, I need you. Yeah. Give me 20 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the don't. then you're going to be like, damn. <laughs> is that how you feel? By the end, I'll be like, but I'm sure she's just. <laughs> I'm sure she didn't mean that. She didn't mean it, but that's how I we perceived know. it. But... I, I learned a lot. I know. I, I want to play this more on our own too. Cause like there will be tears. Yeah. Like we will like fucking go. I actually really like, I enjoyed it. I feel like yeah. I've always strayed away from this game because I was nervous. I think what's cool is you can answer as deep as you want or not. Like yeah. it can be very deep if you want it to, but it doesn't have to be. Exactly. I really like it. But if you guys want to see us play again, let us know and be sure to. We should do the couples edition just to do it. Is there a couples edition? Let's <laughs> yeah. do it. I would love to. to do it. <laughs> just to be like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like what I do. Huh? <laughs> anyway, thanks guys. Love you so much. And we'll catch you next time. Bye. Bye.